of living will hit Sydney soon. Care of startup Micronest. Fully furnished apartments as small as 28 square metres with shared indoor and outdoor communal areas will be up for rent with a focus on connecting neighbours. Micronest's principal and co-founder Dion Rodanovic joins us now in the studio. Dion, thank you for being here. Um, if you could help us understand the concept here because Australians, you know, we tend to love our big houses with, uh, with mm -hmm. big backyards, two-car garages, all that sort of thing. So, so what's, what's going on here with Micronest? Well, firstly, thanks, thanks for inviting me. In a nutshell, it's a, it's a quite, I would say, simple concept, uh, bringing back to the fundamentals of living. I, uh, what we are simply trying to create is to create a community where people are going to feel connected, where we all try to tackle loneliness. Particularly if you're looking across the globe, this concept has recently been piloted in the UK, Germany, France, and as of recently in the United States of America. So it's really targeting young professionals, dual income, no kids yet, uh, divorcees, a single person, uh, uh, students, mm -hmm. or those who transient labor, for example, mm -hmm. who don't have someone here or they feel lonely and they want to go have an immaculate, bespoke studio, if you wish, of four-star quality, hotel-like, where they will have their kitchenette, the bathroom, all the facilities, nice, nice balcony, but the rest or the action or the play or the fun part is happening in, in a communal space. Mm -hmm. That can be through various uh, programs on offer that we plan to do. So the, these communal areas, I'm really curious about what they kind of involve because it sounds like the units themselves are self-contained. So can you opt in and out of the kind of the communal lifestyle? I mean, what if you're not that sociable of, of a person? So. In, in, in actually, if you're looking at in the UK, for example, they struggle because they didn't have enough private open space. In Australia, thankfully to our legislation or the planning regulation, it's impossible to have that. So all our studios need to have a certain amount of private, private open space so that our future tenants can stay in their own <laughs> studios or if they wish they can socialize uh, within a complex or in a close by. It's really a lifestyle choice. That's, that's, that's the, how we derive the name Micronest is simply because we are targeting micro location and the product itself, it's uh, smaller in size. Mm -hmm. so. oh, and you, this is um, an image of uh, a, a property in Fairlight, is that the one that we're yes. looking at there? And this yes. is the one. This is your, your big project? So we believe that that's going to be the flagship product uh, from various reasons in, in, in Australia. Simply it's, it's, a, it's in a highly dense area or it's on, on Sydney Road. Surrounded by uh, apartment buildings. This is near Manly. This is very near Manly. Manly. It's it's mm -hmm. it's a short stroll to to, to mm -hmm. Fairlight Beach, to Manly Beach. Many uh, community amenities are on offer mm. close by, and it's going to be of fantastic quality. And we are targeting six star uh, basics or neighbors rating, so it's very sustainable. Mm. It's one. It's going to be in the one percentile of all Australian uh, uh, residential apartment blocks that will achieve that rating. Right and. But what is the view of council? Because it sounds to me like jamming more people in the same sp size space, right? So how is the council viewing this new type of development? Uh, look, I, I believe that like anything else, any novelty, it's going to cause a big a backlash yeah. in the community. I think, I think it's it, at the end of the day, it's... Because this is the appeal for you as a developer, I imagine, right? Well, uh, th this, is, this is the biggest problem. We are not the developers. We, okay. we, our intention is to develop for investors. Mm -hmm and to hold it very long term, so as a minimum mm -hmm. for 10 years uh, period. So we have a completely different approach. So the, the, having said that, our buildings need to have uh, the best quality so that they can sustain the uh, duration of uh, tenancies and uh, the, the best quality, right? So we are not uh, short term, short gain um, operators and we are very well aligned with our investors along the way. Mm -hmm. Right. C could you um, elaborate on that a little bit, the build-to-rent model um, and, you know, how, how the contract terms work? I mean, a 10-year period, how does this all kind of... So, from an investor's perspective, if you're, looking, if you're thinking, what the investors want is stability of, of cash flow, of income at the end of the day. Mm. So, uh, uh, they need to accept that they, they're doing a socially responsible thing. And Micronis by itself, by the concept, by tackling affordability uh, in its own right, uh, small, but, but nonetheless, uh, it's a good start. Uh, they, are, they are tackling social inclusion as well. So it, it, it suits very well impact investors, ethical investors, socially responsible governance uh, type of investors. 